Well, it's hard to believe sometimes we have been there for 16 years. It's considered to be America's longest war. And this year, President Trump outlined a fresh strategy for the war in Afghanistan, hoping to change the stalemate overseas. Although the president did not specify how many more troops he will send to Afghanistan, officials said the administration has told them it will be about 4,000 more than the 8,000 U.S. service members currently in the region. The president made it clear he wants victory in Afghanistan and his decision to further commit rather than withdraw reflects a significant shift in his approach to Afghanistan since taking office. And so what does winning look like? ABC 10's Michael Anthony Adams is in Afghanistan embedded with the U.S. military for the next two weeks where he's exploring the topic. Tonight he brings us his very first report, a report you will only see here on ABC 10. situation changed since President Trump, uh, you know, announced his new Afghan strategy? I think it changes our mindset. So going to a condition-based strategy instead of a time-based strategy lets the Afghans know that we're not, you know, we're here until they meet the conditions-based requirements. We're not, we know it's not just an end date, we're just going to leave. So and it's also important that the, the enemy knows that as well. So they don't just, just wait us out. I came to Afghanistan to get a first-hand look at how Trump's new plan is playing out in real time. And Colonel Inslee, yeah, vice commander of the coalition's yeah. train, advise, and assist mission in the air, says the goal is to allow the Afghans to create a professional, capable, and sustainable air force. So they're building this capability as they fight a war, which is a monumental task. Their, their pilots that they have here are training in combat. You know, some of their first missions may be a combat mission. And that's extremely difficult to do. To get a better sense of just how close we are to scaling back our presence in Afghanistan, I sat down with Afghan Air Force Captain Saeed Wahid Duabdali, who's optimistic about his country's future, but knows victory is a long way off. Right now, it's very good that we have our U.S. with us to every mission. We are, we, are, we are so a young country and we started new things right now. So since we are new, we need more coalition and more them to help us. We can't build the Afghan Air Force without them. They have to create their own, their own Air Force. They have to do it in, a, in the way the, the Afghans do it. Where are we in that process? Um, we're doing really well. Again, there's exponential growth in the number of missions they're doing and also just the experience that they're getting uh, from all aspects of, uh, of it, the advising mission that we're doing. Fascinating report, and tomorrow Michael will tell us how the Afghans are bringing the fight to the Taliban and working with U.S. military forces to secure the future of their country. To keep up with this series, you can find everything on our website, abc10.com.